In this equation, we have NaNO3 plus PbO. This is sodium nitrate, and this is lead to oxide. So to balance the equation, let's count the atoms up on each side. We have one sodium atom, and then we're going to count this nitrate as one thing. We have it here and then over here. That makes balancing equations a lot easier. It saves you time, which is important on a test. So we have just one nitrate ion here, one lead, and then one oxygen. Product side, we have sodium, two of those. Nitrate, we have one times two. So we have two nitrate ions, one lead, and one oxygen. So it's very easy to see what we need to do here. We need to double our sodium, and we need to double the nitrate. We put a two here, one times two. That balances the sodium atoms. Then we have the nitrate here, so two times the one nitrate. That gives us two of those. We're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see it's real helpful. If you have a polyatomic ion, like the nitrate ion here, and then a here again, just count it as one thing. You'll get the same answer either way, just a lot quicker. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for NaNO3 plus PbO. Sodium nitrate plus lead to oxide. Thanks for watching.